Self-conceited, obstinate, filled with the pride and arrogance of wealth, they perform sacrifices which are so only in name with ostentation and without regard to rules. The word te is used to referring those dynamic people described in the previous verse of this chapter. What are these people like? They are self-conceited because they consider themselves to be great and think that only they are clever. This is what they think like. They are full of their own importance. They are filled with the pride and arrogance of wealth. They have a lot of wealth and reputation in society and therefore they get arrogance as a, as a result of this. This is what such people are like. Such people perform yagnas, perform worship ceremonies, hold big shows and do everything but how do they do it? First they do it with regard to the rules and do not obey the rules of the scriptures. And second they perform yagnas which are only so in name. It looks like it is a yagna but there is nothing else in it. They do this with ostentation and hypocrisy. It didn't not do it with a feeling of a prayer. They do it for a show and out of ostentation and hypocrisy. First of all, it is said that these people are self-conceited. Sri Madh Adi Shankaryaji has written in his commentary that people who are self-conceited are those who consider themselves to be full of good qualities. Even no good people do, do not regard him to have good qualities. Sri Madh Adi Shankaryaji makes it clear that good people do not regard him as having good qualities, but he thinks himself to be full of good qualities. And there is a group of thieves, and one of those thieves have never been caught. Then he thinks that there is no Nobody as good as me, and the ten people around him say, "Yes, boss, you are." Does a good person regard this person as good? No. Sri Adi Shankarji makes this clear. How can you tell whether a human being is good or not? It depends on whether another good person considers this person to be a good person. The first quality of a good person is that he does not praise himself so much. A person who is a really good person does not say over and over again that I am very good. Only when others say that you are a good person, you are a good person, this is a very important thing. There is a saying in Gujarati that Varno kar vakare to varnima Who praises the groom apart from the groom's mother? Does the groom's mother have any other alternative apart from praising him? Does anybody else say that he is handsome? I remember a few things that my father taught me. When I was young and I would come first in my exams, I would work hard in my studies, then everybody would praise me, but my father would never praise me at home. He would never praise me. This is what happened. I would come back having come first in the examinations, and the father would ask me what my percentage grade was. He would say that you only got 90%, you've lost 10%. I would tell him that, Father, I came first. My father would say, this happens when everybody else does not understand. Then you would come first. What is new? What new is there in this? I would often feel that, why does my father never say that I, am done well? I have done well? I kept thinking that my father should be happy, my father should be happy, and that I should do something that will make my father happy. I took this positively. This could have had a negative effect. That let us leave it. Everybody else is saying good things about me, and this is enough. But I consider it's God's grace that I did not take the wrong meaning out of it. And this is God's grace. This is God's grace because I look at it positively. I thought about how I could make my father happy. And when I grew up, I found out very easily because by that time, I had become completely immune to this, and it did not affect me so much. I asked my father that you would praise me when I was not there saying that your son is very good and he does this and he does that but why do you never say it in front of me i asked my father why this was so my father told me that son if i had said it like that then you would not have advanced you would not have come forward and this is the greatness of my father if one's own person keeps praising and praising one then he will not advance what happens in society today is that we keep telling our own people that they are very good this is what people's loved at ones do. Of course I'm not saying to completely cut their hopes and to criticize them all the time, but a person should learn the right balance in their own way. Demonic people do not know how to do this. They are self conceited. They keep praising themselves and like it when people around them praise them. A commentator by the name of Keshav says that self conceited people are those who consider themselves to be great. Such are these people. The next characteristic described about demonic people are that they are obstinate and stubborn. They have the shape of a pillar, that is, that is why they are obstinate and stubborn. They always want their own way and force their own way. 
demonic people are like this. Shankaraji has said that such people are not meek. They have no courtesy in them and they are discourteous. They have no humility. The greater that a person becomes, then the more humble they should become. There is the very few example in Sanskrit scriptures that the more fruit that grow on a tree, then the, that the tree bears down. It is a very great thing in person if, a, if he gave gives fame to others. If a person has attained something and gives the fame of this to others by saying either that it is the grace of his elders, the grace of saints or the grace of God, then this person is humble. A person should be humble. Demonic people are obstinate, stubborn and discourteous. They say that I am a self-made man. There cannot be any person in this world who is self-made. If you look at it spiritually, so many people have contributed to everything we are. A person should not be obstinate, stubborn and discourteous. The next characteristic of a demonic person is that they are filled with the pride and arrogance of wealth. Being rich, they are conceited and arrogant. Such are these people. A person can have wealth, but a person should know how to do just wealth. If a person is getting a reputation respected in society, then they should know how to do just that respect. If a person bows down to us, then we know to also bow our heads down to them. This is a very big ability, but many people do not have this. Asura demonic people and Aethia demons do not have this. When the other person does bow down to us and gives us respect, then they just sit there as they are. These are Asura demonic people according to the language of the Gita and according to the words of Sri Krishna. This is because they have arrogance that how can I bow down? O oh, clever person, you should bow down more than the other person bows down. But Asura demonic people are filled with the pride and arrogance of wealth. Such are these people. Such people perform yagnas, which are only so in name with ostentation and hypocrisy, and without regard to the rules. They do not do this with faith of the mode of sattva goodness, but they want to show how religious they are. These are people who perform yagnas with ostentation and pride. They perform yagnas without regard to the rules of sh rules. Shankar Aranji says that, the instruments, mantras, devatas, gods, donations to gurus, instructed the Vedas and the scriptures are all different parts of a yagna. The instrument used to ver is very important to inner yagna. Devata, gods, are very important to yagna. Donations to gurus are very important in a yagna. The mantra you choose is a very important part of a yagna. These demonic people do not perform yagna with any of these. Sri Krishna will say later in the Gita are that a yagna without donations to gurus is not a yagna. This will come in the 17th chapter and in the 18th chapter and we will look at it. This is what these people do. They do all of this with the course of increasing their reputation and that is it. Such are these people. I once saw a vision in a theatre play and I still remember it. It was a political satire. A political leader went to a hospital for disabled people. There were photographers with him that would help publish photograph photographs in the newspaper on the next day that this political leader was doing service. There was a child aged 10 or 11 who was extremely skinny and disabled. The political leader put his arm around him and lifted him up to take a photograph with him. The photographer pressed on the flash and the photographer moved out of the way having said thank you sir. The politician let go of the child and moved forward. The child fell straight to the ground with a bang. I saw this vision in a theatre play at an inter-college competition. Such people are ostentatious and hypocrites. They just want photographs of themselves to be in the newspaper tomorrow and the job will be done. They do not care what will happen to the other person. This is what such people are like. This is what they do. They perform yagnas without faith. That is what they do. Now, because this demonic perform people perform yagnas without faith and ostentatiously their yagnas donations and charitable activities are not successful and all go to waste in the same way by taking the support of arrogance and pride they do not achieve internal success for example they do not achieve vivek discrimination and non-attachment this is described in the next verse